Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Hope uh, hope you're enjoying this uh, sunny yet slightly cool day. It's uh, day 345, Church in the Time of Quarantine. Uh, hooray for us. Uh, it's, uh, let's see what we got going on here. 1797, the, uh, oh, it's also February 26th. I think I missed that part. February 26th, day 345. Okay, 1797, the Bank of England uh, issued its first one-pound note uh, if BBC uh, period dramas are anything to go by, I think they were really big, like the one-pound notes. But really, that's based on uh, extensive research of watching BBC shows. Uh, 1815, uh, Napoleon left Elba uh, with supporters to begin his 100-day uh, reconquest of France. Uh, that would last till Waterloo. Uh, and then in 1932, uh, music legend and all-around great uh, Johnny Cash was born uh, in Arkansas in 1932. No real announcements. Haven't heard anything from the diocese. Um, hang in there. Uh, okay, yesterday's trivia was to uh, name, uh, name the Beatle, the Quiet Beatle, who was born on February 25th, 1943. Uh, that was George Harrison, and we had correct answers from John True. Eric Bay, Bramwell Richard, and Sharon Grinnig. So congratulations to, uh, to all of you for that. Okay, here's today's trivia. On this day in 1919, Congress established this national park in northwestern Arizona. National Park, northwestern Arizona, established 1919. Know that? Uh, send that on in. All right, well, we have a reflection today from uh, Francis de and he has this to say. People can become proud and arrogant because they ride a handsome horse or have a feather in their hat or wear well-tailored clothes. Is there any glory in such things? It surely belongs to the horse, the bird, and the tailor. You can spot genuine goodness the same way you can identify the best balm. If it sinks to the bottom of a container of water and stays there, it is the most valuable balm. Truly balm, B-A-L-M, by the way. Truly wise, educated, generous, noble people will tend to be humble, modest, and eager to help another. If they float on the surface and show off, they are phonies. They are less genuine in direct proportion to their personal display. Honors, titles, and ranks are like saffron. Saffron grows best when it is walked on. Honor is excellent when it is freely given to us by others, but it becomes cheap and degrading when we go looking for it. Beautiful flowers wither when plucked. Generous minds waste no time on such toys as rank or honor. They occupy themselves with other things. The owner of pearls pays no attention to shells. On the other hand, don't make a pretense of being humble. My advice is that you should never walk about, never talk about it. Never ask to be given the lowest place if you only intend to start there and work your way to the top. All right, and uh, our prayer today, we'll do the collect uh, for Fridays, since it's Friday. Almighty God, whose most dear Son went not up to joy, but first he suffered pain and entered not into glory before he was crucified. Mercifully grant that we, walking in the way of the cross, may find it none other than the way of life and peace. Through the same, thy Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. All right, well, have a uh, wonderful uh, weekend, and I'll talk to you soon. All right, bye now.